All right, uh, MER. Let's talk about the MER. So, um, first things first. Let's look at uh, let's look at destruction, uh, mining production, and uh, very simply, increased production over last month, increased mining, uh, destruction flat or decreasing slightly. So, um, you know that's. We'd like to see everything increase, obviously, but uh, but seeing a slight in, in, uh, increase in, in in mining over the last few months is, you know, it's it's it's, it's encouraging. There's there's a lot of reasons why an increase in mining is a is a good thing for the for the economy. Um, typically, it makes uh, it it makes minerals cheaper, right? The more the more mining we're seeing. Uh, it uh, it makes in turn it makes uh, ships cheaper. So the more the more people that that turn to to mining uh, do have a a a, a good knock on effect for for consumers, um, and production overall obviously is um, you know is uh, it makes 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 the markets uh, go around. And so um, you know even though destruction is um, uh, is, is decreasing slightly because there's there's not the big wars uh, going on that um, that that we had before. Uh, it's still you know it's an it's a it's a an, it's an encouraging month for for July. I mean you know July is the middle of the summer, so it's not it's typically not known for a lot of uh, a lot of action. So um, in terms of uh, uh, proportion by uh, by by security band, we're seeing here. Uh, production in uh, especially in null increasing uh, we're seeing destruction also in null increasing and we're seeing uh, mining also in null increasing so it's certainly um, the action is uh, the increased action is in, in in null i mean a lot of times what we see is if there aren't the big fights going on then uh, it's 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 alliances preparing to for the next fight and uh, so it's it's it can be kind of uh, cyclical what we're seeing on the on the mining and production side. Um, so basic mineral um, basic mineral production uh, has gone up. Gas uh, mining has gone up. Uh, ice volume down. Moon ore up, and this is not uh, surprising because moon ore has been gaining uh, a lot in. In value over the last few months. So, um, whereas there was a time, you know, especially uh, in in Q3, Q4 last year, where moon ore mining just wasn't worth it. It's becoming more worth it because um, there's a lot more production going on. You know, there's new ships, and so we are we are seeing the prices for um, for for moon ore increasing. So not only is uh, the volume in cubic meters increasing, but also the the um uh, the overall trade volume uh, trade volume volume in terms of uh isk so let's skip over these and go straight to my favorite chart which is the isk sinks and faucets so this is um this is the eve online um money supply right so let's make this a little bigger let's see here Let's talk about this right here. This is the the formula for the money supply. This is the money supply at the beginning of the month. This is the faucets that uh, um, that have uh, that inject ISK into the game economy. These are the sinks. So typically, we would have an increase of uh, around fifty trillion if we just looked at faucets and sinks. But we have something called the active ISK delta, which means that is all of the isk um, that is added or subtracted from the money supply because of active or inactive players so players becoming active or becoming inactive this right here is a massive number let me see if i can put this into um into relation hold on i'm pulling up a, a graph in power bi from our friend matthew And that is here. So 
So uh, this right here, oh, you can't see it, hold on. Let me see, that's better right here. Um, so am I a data analyst by profession? Uh, very close, very close. Um, I used to be in finance, but now I, um, I, I, I manage a data business. Um, yes. And, uh, Marius is right. This also, that also the active is Delta also includes the, um, the, uh, the, the is, uh, uh, confiscated by GM actions. Uh, but in this case, it's, it's fairly clear that it, uh, what it is. I don't know why it's uh, it's it's not playing it's not playing nice here. Hold on, give me a second. There, at least you can see that. Um, so you can see here that the active isk delta of negative uh, one hundred trillion here is the highest we've seen ever i think probably i haven't seen a number higher than this you can see that it's the active is delta has been fairly negative one because yes gm actions are always negative but also two because we've just seen a lot of isk being drained from the game through players leaving because you know players coming new players joining the game that might be driving up monthly active users they don't have any isk or they have very little isk and they slowly gain isk but you whenever you see lots of veterans exiting the game you're seeing large amounts of isk exiting the game and so that's why you see this this negative active isk delta almost uh, every month but the one that we're seeing here is just absolutely massive and that the reason is quite simple um they they gave away some free Omega time, I think uh, around uh, around May, right around when Viridian came out and we uh, uh, and that was also the time where they had they were collecting the names for the new memorial uh, in Iceland. And so a lot of people signed up um, and logged in, you know, not only to try the Viridian expansion, but also to to look at, uh, to, to be active and to be, to get their name on the memorial. So that returned a lot of active isk to the game. And what we're seeing now is the exact opposite of that. And that is a lot of, um, a lot of isk just exiting the game and a hundred trillion is, is absolutely massive. So, whereas in, whereas in most, in most month you would, um, uh, you would see an increase in money supply here we're actually looking at a decrease in overall money, money supply in eve online which can be easily explained though so we should be looking at the the net of may and uh, july uh, you know yes uh, technically and uh, that's still going to be negative so if you look at the 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 net right here that's still going to be um you know vastly negative but if you look at the 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 regular the normal active is delta being negative anyway then it you know it it it, it checks out isk removing from statistics after character was inactive for three months yes three months is the magical number if you don't log in for three months your um uh, all of your isk gets uh, gets gets removed um i should try that to see if I register. Just kidding. It's not going to register that much. All right. So, hey, Mokam, good to see you, man. I sent you a message. Uh, don't know, didn't you, see, you saw it? Um, so, if end of month uh, is negative, market prices are overall more expensive. Well, it's not that it's not quite that simple. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but um, uh, yes, it has something to do with uh, with inflation and deflation. So looking at uh, looking at uh, overall ISK sinks and faucets, um, you know, this is this is blue loot and red loot, uh, 42 trillion, uh, absolutely insane. 
uh, as as usual um you know the, these will mean more when we look at them over time uh, but uh, bounties and uh, red loot blue loot clearly the um, the two largest uh, is faucets in the game they are uh, in turn um, checked by uh, the ISK sinks of transaction tax and broker fee. That is what uh, you know we we do all day in the, in the market, uh, goods being exchanged, and then also the LP store, which adds another ten trillion to the to the sinks. But as I said, if you just look at sinks and faucets, then you would have a fifty trillion influx of uh, of of cash, uh, which you know could 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 mean inflation. But uh, again, I, I explained this last time, it, like an increase in money supply doesn't necessarily mean uh, I uh, inflation because if, you know, if there's veterans uh, logging into the game um, and they don't do anything, they just log in and they, you know, spin a, f spin a few ships in the hangar and then log out, then you might have 100 trillion added to the overall money supply but that doesn't cause inflation because that money never actually enters the ecosystem. And so in order to have inflation, you not only need money supply, but you also need uh, velocity, right? The is velocity graph that we see here in a second, that has a lot to do with it. So without any velocity, you don't get any inflation after all. As uh, Drakenhof uh, put into chat right now. Thank you. Good to see you, man. The money needs to be used. Absolutely. Um, so these are the top six, uh, commodity faucets over time. So you can see the sleeper components here. That's your blue loot coming out of wormholes, um, your OPEs, uh, and, uh, trick data down here. That is, uh, your, your red loot, which is ironically blue. I don't know why. I don't know why it's blue. it should be red. Um, but you know. So uh, yeah, sleeper components, uh, uh, blue loot continues to be uh, insanely high and uh, top eight sinks and faucets over time. Uh, we're seeing bounty prizes, commodity. Is that, can that be true? Oh, this is, this is daily. Okay. So this is, this is daily. So you can't look at this monthly. So you, this is, you know, um, uh, blue loot spikes is more spiky, whereas bounty prices, bounty payouts are more um, uh, are more constant over time. So, um, you know, the overall, the the blue loot represented in the blue line right here is still going to be much larger over a, over a month. Uh, transaction tax uh, that uh, that spiked a lot because of um, of of sales that we're we're seeing uh in the in the store uh you know plex plex sales skill extractor sales that sort of stuff but um here we also had a tax holiday so um you know uh, there there was a um uh there was the 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 sales tax was cut in half uh for an extended period of time and uh, so that that's messing with the transaction tax uh, sync here um Money supply typically rising. Now we're seeing a drop, as I just mentioned. So this is, um, you know, this this is significant, but not not really, or not not really that significant, right? So this is um, uh, this is really not going to be very uh, very much of consequence. Again, the increase from veterans coming back to the game that have now left, that just you know logged in once or just uh, went to Omega to get their name on the on the monument, they're not going to register here. So this is um, this is more or less just the trend continuing. This is uh, this is a slightly increasing uh, money supply. Um, if you look at the velocity, though, you can see this velocity um, dropping a lot. So each isk gets turned around less and less over time. Uh, even if you take out um, you know, this is uh, without contracts and this is um, without contracts and uh, Plex related items, right? So Plex, skill in uh, injectors, etc. So uh, the ISK velocity dropping means that there's no real risk for inflation. That's why, pr that's why prices aren't really increasing. Um, 
uh, over overall. Now, of course, we had, you know, certain categories of items increasing in price, like, you know, basic minerals in uh, during scarcity. But overall, we're not seeing uh, prices of um, most ship prices, etc. not not spiking. Uh, uh, and that's that's because of the ISK velocity not not increasing. Um, this is uh, the uh, the I, the category that is spiking the most, and that is uh, minerals, basic minerals. Uh, still, that's that's mostly isogen, though. Uh, we have we we still have a uh, a a massive bottleneck uh, around isogen, um, and uh, megasite is it megasite? Um, we'll look at the the market right now, but. You know this. There are, um, you know, there there are certain minerals that have spiked in price and stayed uh, stayed high, uh, and so you know there there have been, especially for isogen, there have been two or three measures um, put into the market by CCP, but they haven't really been all that uh, that successful. Um, you know, uh, probably also because of 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 people messing with the market uh, and and building up stockpiles that's 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 also one element of it so um if you look at uh, the primary producer index and the secondary secondary producer um uh, index so um uh, you're um, you're seeing high prices right now but not not insanely high and uh, consumer price index is basically you can you can ignore it it's uh it's it's too it, the the data is too is too dirty to be to be considered uh, for an analysis and then yada yada i think that's pretty much it except for our favorite graph which is this right here which shows you that um <laughs> wormholes are still exporting over uh, or close to 20 trillion in blue loot every month, all right? So to put that into perspective, um, uh, to put this into perspective, this, uh, this is 20 times probably what the TTT does a month right now, like the TTC uh, or much, much higher. Like I don't think the TTC right now brings home a, uh, a, a a trillion a month um not right now when when things are complicated and uh, they just raise taxes from zero to zero point five percent i think it is so uh the, so ttc dwarves the income uh that that wormhole um that wormholes have uh, uh have coming out of blue loot and that just means that um you know you can't it's 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 apples uh, and oranges of course right uh, absolutely but um it's interesting to to put those two into relation because this wormhole stuff it only it doesn't only go to wormhole corps you know there's there's plenty of null corporations that uh, that are f that are farming uh, wormholes for uh, uh, for profit i'm sure um, but this, you know, th this is this is massive. This is um, this is the the backbone of money supply in in Eve Online, uh, right? As we saw by the uh, is faucets. Um, the uh, answer. Let me answer your question real quick. The primary producer index and secondary producer index. So uh, I'll give you I'll give you some examples of, uh, uh, of 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 what's in what, if I can find my notes. So we have um, in the primary producer index we have ore, we have ice, we have P zero and P one um, planetary uh, commodities. We have data cores, decryptors, blueprints, alloys, and compounds. That's the primary producer index. So that's all raw materials except for basic, um, uh, basic, um, except for basic minerals. And then the secondary producer index, you have the components or T2, T3 components, station components, uh, planetary commodities beyond P1 and uh, salvage materials, ancient salvage materials, all, all that sort of stuff. Uh, 